Aye, aye, you all right? Just occurred to me um, before we start this video, um, I've never really given any safety warnings. I'm a bit of a twat, really. I piss around making gaskets, using the wrong sorts of fuels, taking stuff to bits, not putting them back together properly, um, all sorts of crap. And unless you're really confident in doing that, please don't do it. Just go and use your thing like the manufacturers tell you to do. I'm just doing this because I'm curious and I'm confident of what I'm doing. Please don't burn your house down, your camper down, your shed down, your children down, your dog, your cat. Please look after yourselves and don't do anything like I do. I'm stupid, um, but I hope you're enjoying watching it. You know, there was this guy once, I remember reading this um, article in the news a few years back, where this guy went to Greg's and brought himself a really hot pasty. Um, and he liked it so much, he decided to put his todger inside it and blister all his todger up. And then from then onwards, Greg's weren't allowed to sell hot cheese pasties. What's that all about? So if you're the sort of guy who wants to put your todger into a cheese pasty, please don't try any of his stuff at home. Um, but, you know, just thought I'd mention it, just in case. Cheers. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Well, welcome to the kitchen. Too cold to piss around outside at the moment. So, story is, um, my burner at the moment, my Chinese diesel heater, um, it's been messing around. I've been running it now for about three weeks with quite a low concentration of vegetable, waste vegetable oil and diesel, just normal pump diesel, and it's been running okay. Last couple of days, um, excuse me by the way, I've got a really bad cold, thanks to my daughter. Um, last couple of days, um, I've noticed the temperature's been down, not been producing quite as much heat, and I've had a couple of flame outs. I lit it today, it was a real pig to light, and I had to choke it to get it up and running. Once it was up and running, it seemed to be okay. I've just come back in, and I noticed it's another flame out. So I've just been down to the basement and pulled it out of situ, and this is what I found. All right, so I've taken the lid off, and look at this. It is a real mess. I've absolutely no idea where that's coming from. Um, I'm about to dismantle it now and try and find out, but something horrible has uh, happened. Um, doesn't appear to have come from uh, the intake port, so I'm not sure what has happened. Let's have a look in there. Yeah, it looks pretty uh, manky in there, doesn't it? I think we're going to find this is well choked up. I say it's probably about three weeks now. Oh dear. That's probably about three weeks now um, of running. And all of a sudden it's uh, thrown a wobbly. This is my original Chinese uh, heater. This is the one where you can't adjust the parameters of the pump and the um, fan speed. Um, although I have modified, done a few mods to it. I got rid of a crisscross on there to get some more airflow because I think I've mentioned before my one uh, runs into some ducting under the home and I want as much airflow as possible if you come with me. So that's one of my outlets there and then there's another one there in the hall and then in the living room controllers on the wall there and I have a couple of these ductings here the idea of the uh, louver things is just so I can uh, direct where the hot air is going and I monitor the uh, the outlet temperature there and there's another one over that side so uh, oh there's also another one down there as well uh, that's the controller there of the other heater I've got, which I've been playing with, which I'm not using. That's um, I'm intending to send that out to um, take it out to Romania with me when I go in February because I've got a house out there. So uh, anyway, um, 
let's go and take this one to bits and see what see what we've got. Okay, only me, only me. Right, back again. So what have we found? We pulled it to pieces, and uh, not as bad as I thought it would be actually after so long running on um, vegetable oil and a diesel mix. I haven't really been measuring it, if I'm totally honest. Probably about two litres of um, waste veg oil to every, with eight litres, in a, so in a 10 litre can, um, I've got two litres of uh, waste veg and uh, eight litres of diesel, pump diesel. And that's been running like that now for I reckon three to four weeks, probably. Okay, so let me just turn the camera back. What did we find? Not as bad as I thought. But it's interesting where the um, the leak has come from. So look, let's get under the light. So you can see. So the it's not bad. It's a little bit sooted up, isn't it? But I've seen, we've all seen a lot worse than that, haven't we? But here's the interesting bit. Inside the, inside the burn pot, the burn chamber, there's a little bit of rubbish there. Yeah. You can just see it down there on the right. Oops. There you go. It's collected up. But again, that's not too bad. We've seen them a lot worse than that. But what's really interesting is that my gasket is wet. My gasket is all wet. And what's more... It's got a bit of a crack in it as well. See, here we are. Oops. It's got a crack in it now, all right. There you go. Just see it there. So, it's all wet round here. So it's found its way out. And you can see all round here. Whoops. It's all wet. And it's come through the join here. Now this gasket here was a homemade gasket. It's a gasket I made last time. Originally, I tried um, just using some liquid gasket stuff on it, and it was rubbish. Um, so then I made my own gasket out of it, um, my own gasket for it. But unfortunately now, that gasket is gone. I only used duct tape or something for it anyway. I didn't have any gasket paper or anything, so I just used... Um, I covered it in duct tape first of all, and then went round the outside of it with a scalpel. And uh, that's held up well until now. So quite where that excess stuff's coming from, I don't know. I can only assume at times I've been running it really rich. It hasn't been able to burn off the excess vegetable oil or it's somehow separated from the diesel. The diesel's burnt off and the vegetable oil has found its way out into this chamber here and then come through here. And that's where it's all come from. So I'm going to clean it all up. I'm going to put it all back together. Make a new gasket for here. And um, presumably then it will fire up fine. But while I'm making the video, I just uh, mention something else I'm working on at the moment. I finished messing around with my cars for the moment. They're all MOT'd and all functional. So uh, I've gone back on to the Chinese diesel heaters. And one of the things I'm working on now is a uh, add-on controller so basically a standalone controller so basically i've got this uh, crazy idea that we're going to do away with this do away with the control panel which goes with that and you're going to have um, a couple of knobs uh, one which will uh, um, adjust the um, fuel pump um, from about 1 to 6 hertz and then another knob which will control them fan speed up to about 5000 rpm um, it'll have a flame out um, protector on it so if it does flame out you're not going to carry on pumping stuff into it and for that I'll use the uh, the stock for mister going back to a um, controller um, the idea is you'll switch it on the glow plug 
um, will come on for about 120 seconds, I think I worked it out to. Uh, glow plug will light for about 120 seconds. Um, after 15, 20 seconds of the glow plug being on, the fuel pump and the fan will start to run. As I say, the speed of those will be um, down to you to control, or down to the user to control. Um, and then once the, uh, the thermistor starts to sense the chamber's getting nice and warm, um, a relay will click in and take over the supply to the um, pump controller and the fan controller. And then should, um, uh, after the glow plug goes out, after 120 seconds, if the thermistor senses that there's not enough temperature in the burn chamber, it will shut everything down. It won't be a structured close down like um, the existing ECUs, um, but it will just close everything down just to make it safe-ish. Um, initially, it's all going to be uh, I'm building it out of uh, modules and discrete components, power fets and the like. Um, and then if it all works, I'll get a mate of mine to make me a microcontroller up using the PIC processor or something. I'm sure he'll do that. Um, be quite a simple thing really um, anyway be interested to know your thoughts on that really whether or not you think that's um, a worthwhile thing to do I had a few comments of people saying that it'd be really good if you could just control the fan speed and the pump um, rate independently and this will be how you'll be able to do this it won't be any up down buttons um, I'm planning on just having a couple of potential monitors um, one will do the fan speed, one will do the pump um, pulse rate. So I'd be interested to know your thoughts on that really. Um, right, okay, I'm going to end the video here, put this back together, and um, I will just confirm at the end of the video, actually, whether or not it was successful and lit up straight away once it's been cleaned out. Cheers for now. So just before I completely put it back together, I'll just show you what I've done. Uh, the gasket that came off was annihilated, unfortunately, so I just had to make myself a new gasket because I don't have any more left. Um, cleaned up this. This was much worse than I thought it was. The burn chamber was much, much worse than I thought it was. It had loads of uh, sort of um, really hard stuff as well as loads of gooey stuff as well. It's looking a bit wet at the moment. That's because I've just given it a... A quick wash down with some detergent as well. Uh, made a new gasket for there. Um, be interesting to see uh, how that works. Um, I know a lot of you won't be uh, very impressed that I've made a gasket, but hey, needs must and all that. So um, I'll just carry on putting it back together and I'll be back. Okay, so it's been running now for a, for a few minutes. Uh, it's coming up to temperature. It's not running as hot as I would like it to run. Um, bear in mind that's the external um, sensor on the, on the outside of the um, chamber. Um, and I've got increased airflow going across it. So obviously the more airflow you've got going over a hot surface, the cooler that air that surface becomes. So... Uh, I've got 154 there, and we've got 64.2 coming out of the uh, floor grill. Um, that's running on my mix of uh, diesel and veg oil at the moment. Uh, I need to keep my eye on it because this is how it went out earlier. The temperature started to drop and it went out, flamed out, so we need to keep an eye on that. I've got the um, carbon monoxide sensor next to the vent as well, just to keep a close eye on that. Um, it took a while to light, it took two or three attempts to light it because uh, I'm guessing because I washed it out with uh, soapy water after I finished scraping it just to get the remnants out. So, anyway, up and running again. Um, keep watching the videos, thanks very much and um, I'll put something up again uh, quite soon, let you know how it goes over the weekend. Uh, I've got a feeling I might have a problem here, I think it's probably um, 
maybe the vegetable oil's dropped to the bottom. In the cold weather, the vegetable oil has gone to the bottom of my uh, fuel container. I've used up all the diesel first, and um, now we're on mainly vegetable oil, probably. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look. But I'm not particularly happy how it's running at the moment. I've had it running much better than this. Okay, cheers for now. I'll catch you uh, soon. Right. So, back in the living room. He's, heater is back down the basement, hooked up. Um, there we go. It's been running now for about two minutes. Two, three minutes. 168. 70 it's going up in temperature got 55 coming out of the grill at the moment so we'll give it a few minutes and uh, see how we do okay so it's been running now for a, for a few minutes uh, it's coming up to temperature it's not running as hot as I would like it to run um, bear in mind that's the external um, sensor on the on the outside of the um, chamber. Um, and I've got increased airflow going across it, so obviously the more airflow you've got going over a hot surface, the cooler that air that surface becomes. So uh, I've got 154 there, and we've got 64.2 coming out of the uh, floor grill. Uh, that's running on my mix of uh, diesel and veg oil at the moment. Uh, I need to keep my eye on it because this is how it went out earlier. The temperature started to drop and it went out, flamed out. So we need to keep an eye on that. I've got the um, carbon monoxide sensor next to the vent as well, just to keep a close eye on that. Um, it took a while to light, it took two or three attempts to light it because uh, I'm guessing because I washed it out with uh, soapy water after I finished scraping it just to get the remnants out so anyway up and running again um, keep watching the videos thanks very much and um, I'll put something up again uh, quite soon let you know how it goes over the weekend I've got a feeling I might have a problem here I think it's probably um, Maybe the vegetable oil was dropped to the bottom. In the cold weather, the vegetable oil was gone to the bottom of my uh, fuel container. I've used up all the diesel first. And um, now we're on mainly vegetable oil, probably. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look. But I'm not particularly happy how it's running at the moment. I've had it running much better than this. Okay, cheers for now. Catch you uh, soon.